the Olympic edition of Sports Illustrated. Yep. And who appears on the cover? None other than Caitlyn Jenner, the former Olympian, appears on the July cover of the magazine wearing a sparkly gold jumpsuit with her 1976 Olympic medal. This is the first time she's worn the medal since winning the goal at the Montreal Games 40 years ago. Um, and so many are saying that, you know, that's the best thing about the whole picture. And I tend to agree. And here's the thing. Sports Illustrated is known for doing these very provi- I mean, the month previous, they had the Muhammad Ali cover. Right. And then they had the body issue, which is a, like an issue with a whole bunch of naked people on there. It's yeah. very, if you... Well, if they you, do the swimsuit issue, too. Exactly. You know, but... This one, America? And here's my thing, and let me give you my theory, and then, Rich, you can yeah, tell me what your I've thoughts are. So, I understand the purpose behind it, right? I understand the ideal of uplifting trans folk. I believe in it. I stand for it. I understand, especially after Orlando and after all the hate that spewed about the LGBTQ community, it was the right thing to do to have an LGB, a person from the LGBT community on the cover. Now, with that being said, if I was picking somebody from the LGBT community to be on the cover, Bruce Jenner, or excuse me, Caitlyn Jenner, Bruce Jenner, the person who won the gold medal, Caitlyn Jenner, now her, who's the person sitting on the cover, would not be my first choice. And here's why. Let's hear this. There's so many athletes who are part of the LGBTQ community, right, who are at this year's Olympic Games, yeah. who you will probably never hear about. They're probably doing sports that they probably don't even come on during prime time. Right, who they deserve to have their voice uplifted and to have their yeah. story told and to sort of really say prolifically that this is what we, our country looks like. We can have folks who participate in games like backgammon and ping pong. And I'm pretty sure backgammon's not in the Olympics, is it? Isn't back, backgammon isn't the Olympics. Isn't that a board game? No, what's the one with the other? Like, badminton. Badminton, that's what Jeez. I meant, not backgammon. <laughs> badminton, fencing. Yeah. You know, all, all the sports the that you don't see. Non-sexy prim- sports. Yeah, the non-sexy sports. And in some of the sexy sports, like I think there's some probably basketball players. There's probably some softball folks. Probably some track and field stars. Probably some Olympians. Some people who play gy- were in gymnastics who yeah. happen to be LGBTQ. And the cover truly belongs to them because they are our Olympians for this four-year period. And so I think if you're going to do an LGBTQ issue, picking somebody who... I feel as though when it comes to who is wrong on pretty much every LGBTQ issue, yeah. right, and picking somebody who clearly is rich beyond measure to be the front of your, to be your front cover is not a good idea. Allow me to offer my feedback on this. So Please, feedback away. I've got some pros and I've got some cons. And the romper was just bad. <laughs> it's just a bad outfit. Yeah. Okay. So what I like about this, I think symbolically... Having a trans person on Sports Illustrated is more progressive and provocative um, than a gay or lesbian person. Just saying it, I mean, in terms of representation in society, trans is definitely still, you know, in in the the come up. It's on the come up. It's in the come up. Right, right, right. Uh, Totally. So I do like that. Um, I think wearing the Olympic medal is cool. It's symbolic. I think it makes a good point. Now, where I start to differ with Sports Illustrated on the selection is personally, um, listen, no one more than me wanted Caitlyn Jenner to be this amazing, you know, symbol for where we're going as a country, right? Um, You know, and, you know, for transgender rights. It turns out that Caitlyn Jenner is incredibly rich incredibly really self-centered rich. and incredibly conservative um those Uber three values all together don't really make for a great and ally it, for the lgbt and it doesn't represent the trans community right like i think the ideal of putting somebody on the cover who's trans or i agree with you is to uplift the role that transgender people play in our in our society mind they're older oh, a small percent of our population but they're one of the most downtrodden groups in this country i mean without a doubt a couple of days ago a trans woman died right here in our nation's capital and she wasn't on the front she was there wasn't a protest there wasn't a die she's not in. on sports illustrated she's not on the cover of sports illustrated it was a blip in a news story right and so does Caitlyn Jenner being on the front cover of sports illustrated help uplift that young that young trans woman no at least not in my opinion. No, you're totally right. And I think that that's the, that's the main point here, right? 
the face that you see 100% is a trans woman. That is good, that is progressive, but you see a lot of other uncomfortable things creeping in with that. You're talking yeah, about like wealth white, privilege. White privilege. White privilege, right? Like, <laughs> like you know, and, and, it but just I, sucks. And so I, that's my point. So I, I understand the point you're making about like a trans person being great. I would have rather have seen after what happened at Pulse nightclub to see LGBTQ folks or L, maybe not transgendered because they're probably, I'm not, I'm not sure if they're, I don't know if there's transgender folks in this Olympic, on this Olympics team. Yeah, but, I don't know about that. Well, that, I mean, we could go into a whole other rabbit hole because I don't know I don't what know. the Olympic stance is on I don't know, don't want to go into it, but. It's a, that's a beast. What I will say is I would have rather seen trans people, oh, no, excuse me, gays and lesbians and bisexuals and queer folk of color on the front of the Sports Illustrated mm -hmm. cover after what happened at Pulse Nightclub, after, you know, the continued berating of this group of individuals in our country, yeah. to see them on the cover would have been more meaningful and more impactful. And it could possibly be more provocative than this. Yeah, well, that's a good point.